Welcome back guys to another Tesla video. Today we got a lot of really big stuff. We will be talking about the full self-driving beta, the autopilot, and how capable it is. There is a video on YouTube, you could look at it yourself, but we will be talking about this and it's pretty incredible to see the Tesla's full self-driving beta in action, driving long distances, and it's pretty incredible. And we also should be seeing a lot more autopilot stuff in the upcoming robo taxis by another company, which means that Tesla probably will be coming out with some sort of a robo taxi this year. And lastly, we'll be talking about upcoming Tesla supercharger networks. It's pretty awesome especially how a lot of these supercharger networks might be used to charge other electric vehicles, not just Tesla, which makes Tesla a major charging station stock as well. First thing is let's talk about the FSD beta, because at this current moment, only a select few individuals actually received the FSD beta. They received it around mid-December, and ever since then, Tesla has been updating the software every five to 10 days. It was really nice because we got to see a lot of people on Twitter and also YouTube driving their Tesla vehicles hands-free. It was like a robot just taking over, driving in the middle of cities. It could recognize stop signs, pedestrians, other vehicles, small roads, traffic lights, and much, much more. And it's pretty awesome. Now, what everyone is talking about is, is this full self-driving beta capable of driving long distances, transitioning from highways to cities and vice versa? Because this feat was achieved not long after this FSD beta release, and there was a Model 3 driver that drove from San Francisco to LA with little to no interventions. This is pretty nice because the car was under human control for 1 minute and 15 seconds out of the 5 hour drive. This is by Whole Mars Catalog and this is a really big Tesla enthusiast and this is like a really big time lapse. You could check out his video on YouTube but it showed off the vehicle going to different highways, navigated on autopilot and freeways. It could go to different cities, etc. Now, there were like a few brief stops, but that was just for charging the Model 3, and that's about it. Now, that's just really incredible because we've been hearing a lot of really cool stuff about the FSD beta and how it could navigate in different cities. I've been seeing several videos on Twitter about how owners can go from like major highways, small neighborhoods to the downtown of their city, and it's pretty incredible. Now, this type of video really just assures a lot of users that, hey, Maybe the FSD beta is safer than a human being. And what's even better is Tesla is implementing updates every five to 10 days. This is a feature that you don't see in other car brands. If you want a car that has autopilot at this moment that could drive you from point A to point B very easily, then you're gonna have to get a Tesla. I kind of see the reason why the full self-driving beta is worth $10,000. And I'll tell you guys right now, it's absolutely worth it just by looking at this. I would love to go from my city to New York City without actually putting my hands on the wheel. If the car could drive itself, it really does put a lot more pressure off me. You know, like I drive a lot. I like to go long distances, but it really tires me out at the end of the day after going from like a three to five hour drive. If there's like an FSD beta, if the robot is driving it for me, it just takes a lot more stress off. I could just maybe look at the scenery a little bit instead of just focusing on driving the vehicle. I could probably go to the rest stops a lot less. That way I could get to my destination faster. So it's a really incredible experience. Next up is Motional. This is a autonomous car company or should I say autonomous software company. That is a collaboration between Hyundai and Aptiv. Motional is pretty impressive because these are robo taxis that are already available in Las Vegas. If you guys have went to Las Vegas, chances are you've probably been in a Motional vehicle. Let me tell you guys what's up. So Motional has a driver behind the wheel, but if you get into the Motional vehicles, it's actually completely robotic. Nobody is actually driving it, the car is driving itself, but there is a driver behind the wheel just in case something happens so they could you know, intervene. But most of the time, the vehicles drive by itself only in very rare circumstances where the driver in the car has to intervene. What's really cool is this robo taxi system is already available here in the US, Las Vegas. They've performed more than 100,000 rides, so that is a lot. A lot of people never even knew that Motional Robo Taxi was even a thing 
since it was never covered in the news outlets. This is a really incredible product that no one really talked about. Now it could be seeing Tesla doing the same thing, especially how Motional struck a major deal with Lyft. Lyft wants to be having robo taxis within five years. Uber, same thing. We could be seeing Tesla striking a massive deal with Uber since Tesla's robo taxis are extremely good. Now we should be seeing some sort of a ride hill program later this year, and we could be seeing just my rumors of Tesla launching their first robo taxi network late 2021 in Las Vegas only. For some reason, Las Vegas is super supportive with very high end tech. They're very supportive of Motional. They're very supportive of Elon's boring company, which are digging a bunch of tunnels and loops underneath Las Vegas. So I really do feel like Las Vegas is pretty innovative and the first RoboTax network by Tesla will most likely be in that city. So let's just see what happens. 2021, Musk has promised to achieve full autonomy. We will be seeing what the updates of the full self-driving beta are like. It's getting updated every five to 10 days once again. So we should be seeing the software slowly improve and more and more stuff coming in for Tesla. Last thing is the Tesla supercharger map. Right now, Tesla is releasing a brand new map of its upcoming supercharger stations. They've added a bunch of brand new planned superchargers. It's pretty amazing. You could go to the Tesla website and check out the maps. You could clearly see a lot of these superchargers are being planned. The ones in gray are under construction, plan, and they're deciding to put supercharger stations in that location. The red ones are the ones that are fully operational. So you clearly see Tesla is expanding rapidly. It's not just here in the US, but also China as well. And even in smaller cities, you see more superchargers being popped up. And in major metropolitan cities like Manhattan, New York City, you can see there's a ton of gray icons, which means they're expanding a lot more superchargers in those locations, especially how bigger metropolitan cities are pushing for more EVs and cleaner energy. This is why they're launching more stalls in those areas. Now, what's really unique is because Musk on Twitter actually said that he's actually willing low key to make superchargers available for other electric car companies. Some Tesla owners were very frustrated about this because it was like this nice exclusive club and now you're allowing other cars to come in and use the Tesla superchargers. It's a little bit weird, but others don't really see anything different. They feel like if Tesla does it this way, then Tesla will become a really big global EV stock. If you check out all the EV stocks out there that are specialized in charging, they've been doing really well. So if Tesla could become their own charging station company, well, it's gonna be really big because Tesla supercharger network is very vast. You can clearly see on the map, it's very diverse. They're in virtually every city here in America. They're in several cities in China and also Europe. So we could be seeing the Tesla supercharger network catering to other car companies like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Volkswagen who don't have their own supercharger stations. So Tesla could definitely rake in a ton of dough and with them expanding this fast in the supercharging network, they could definitely make themselves a very big player in the charging industry as well, which adds in another company into Tesla's belts. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and comment below.